people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, of all the fights that happened uh, the last couple of days, uh, th 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 this will be the last one I comment on, and then we'll move on to other things here on True School Sports. But I wanted to give some thoughts on a guy that I think, if we're talking about pure skill set, like the more I, the more I watch him, the more I study his overall fight game and just just uh, all these kind of things. The more I'm like, man, like, yo, this guy right here, uh, he's a champion, yes, but people aren't talking about him enough. He might just be one of the best pound pound fighters in the sport, point blank, period. He's got to get the fights to prove it against the top guys. But, man, Junto Nakatani is a problem. He's a big problem for anybody in the flyweight division, and I think he'll be a problem for anybody in the super flyweight division. But before I get to that part, let's talk about the fight itself. So, yeah, he fought on the undercard of Ryota Murata versus Gennady Golovkin. And uh, he, he took on a very, uh, I would say, in my opinion, inexperienced opponent in uh, Ryota Yamuchi, who was like 8-1 and one or something like that. He only, he only had like maybe like 9 or 10 fights. So I can't remember, remember his exact record, but very inexperienced. Um, if you look at like his opposition, it's mainly just been like domestic level opposition at uh, Koroku and Hall, which is like one of the top uh, venues in Japan, especially, especially if you're an upcoming fighter. But... Um, so you know, it was gonna be a fight where I didn't know a lot about Yamuchi, but he was he was he was taking he was biting off a little bit more than he could chew, in my opinion, going into the fight with got Nakatani. Um, and early on, that that was pre that thing, the whole fight it was it was I was right because you know uh, Nakatani had, in my opinion, one of his best best performances because he's 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 known for being like a volume puncher, a guy that likes to get off a lot of shots and whatnot. But you know, uh, in this fight, you saw Nakatani kind of use his feet a little bit more. Uh, be a bit more defensive uh, when, when, when the times call for it, but he still maintained like the aggressiveness that he's known for. The volume punching, uh, the straight left hand was was steak knife shot coming through the middle. Um, and you know, I get credit to I give I give credit to Ryota Yamuchi for a guy that, in my opinion, was out of his depth and was getting the shit kicked out of him in the first two rounds. He really didn't pack it in. Like the guy didn't pack it in. He went in there and. and, and, and uh, he even had some success uh, in the latter rounds uh, before he got stopped. Um, Yamuchi. Um, so he behaved, like, he behaved like a fighter. And look, I'm not I'm not one to shit on fighters like that. But um, Yamuchi, j just for the way he fought back, I hope whoever runs his career does not put him in a fight like this again. Because I don't think it was fair to him uh, to fight I got Nakatani in like his 10th or 11th fight. Just my opinion. Maybe maybe I'm wrong and ignorant. Maybe, maybe I gotta do some more re research on his career and the guys he fought. But from my in, in my opinion, that's what I that's what I took from his side of things. But uh, going back to Nakatani, right? Junta Nakatani is right now for me. He's he's right now I would say at least at the worst the third best fighter from Japan. You know I would say the Monster Inoue is number one. You'd have to put Kazuto Aoka number two, and then he'll be number three. But we can solve this problem real quick. We we, we can find out who's who when it comes to uh, the food chain of Japanese boxing, because uh, right now Nakatani's in a great position where he's champion at 112. He's got great fights in the division against the likes of guys like Sonny Edwards and and people like that. Um, Julio Cesar Martinez, which I think would be a great fight. I mean, could you imagine that fight? Like Cesar Martinez versus Nakatani, the amount of punches that were being thrown, the amount of, the amount of damage that would be inflicted. Uh, I love to see that fight. I think I think Nakatani would actually. I think Junto would do better against Julio Cesar Martinez, even the Chalatito. I think he might freaking do the job and flatline him and stop him, personally. But um, that'd be a good fight. You got Sonny Edwards, who's pound for pound right now, one of the best defensive fighters in the sport. So that'd be a great fight as well. But then you also got all the killers at 115. You know your Chalatitos and your Gaia Estradas. And the guy that I really think he should be that they should match him up with is uh, that is if, if he that is if he doesn't fight Chalatito Gonzalez next, the guy that they should match him up with very soon, like I'm talking about within the next year or so, is uh, Kazuto Ioka because it makes a lot of sense. It's realistic, you know. Not, if Junto Nagatani moves up to 115, 115, being that he is a WBO champion uh, at 112, he he can go straight to 115 and get a title shot. And could you imagine the scenes? Could you imagine? Kazuto Ioka, four division champion, Japan's first four division champion, fighting one of the top young Japanese champions in the sport in, in Juzo Nakatani. You know, an aggressive southpaw against an aggressive orthodox fighter who's experienced 
you know, I really don't think there's many better matchups in boxing, let alone the flyweight and super flyweight divisions than Jutsu Nakatani versus Kazuda Aoka, and I think it's realistic. So I'm hoping that's a fight that they can look into and get done because um, the way I see it, um, if Kazuda don't fight him, someone else at 115 will have to fight him. And I, the way I see Jun, Jun, Junta Nakatani developing and becoming better as a fighter, I just think he's one of these guys that uh, is going to be a, a multiple division champion, pound for pound fighter at some point in time because you're seeing it. You're seeing the speed, the the, the, the fundamentals. Now he's now he's getting more footwork and, and, and becoming a bit more defensively sound. As, as you know, he's still, still got to improve, but he's becoming more defensively sound. So just overall, you got to love what you're seeing from him. And I'm looking very forward to seeing what happens next in his boxing career. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you had a chance to watch Junta Nagatani versus uh, Rayata Yamuchi. It might have just been the best performance of the entire week. It was either that fight, it was either his performance or Tony Harrison's performance. As far as who had the best performance of this weekend for me. But uh, let me know what you guys think, you know. Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos. You can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.